Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful, divine, masculine energy, my yang energy. I will. Everyone is blessed. Doing well. On this Sunday, I um, finally pushed out the yin energy, the divine feminine energy yesterday, and I didn't want to wait too long in between before pushing out the masculine energy. I will. Everyone is blessed on this beautiful holy day. Sunday is a very spiritual days for me i like to connect with myself um on these days these are really days of just reflecting um preparing for the upcoming week um just getting your your energy more uh grounded more grounded um but everything is everything on my side of the planet uh this is going to be a uh, general reading for the divine masculine so you know let's let's sit back and uh Open up your minds for the reading. Let's see what we have coming and going out for that yang energy. Ah, shay. For any of you that may be new, I welcome you to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. I will that there's a message here for you, that the messages ready, uh, resonate, <laughs> that my energy radiates enough for you to uh, hit that subscribe button, definitely like the video, and also Hit the notification bell so that you know whenever I'm uploading. I am not one of those people that upload every day. Um, I do it in between. I do it when I feel spirit is nudging me to do a reading. Um, a little about me. My name is Q. I am a Scorpio. Uh, I channel messages intuitively. Uh, so my spiel um, is eat the fish, spit out the bones. Um, if the reading does not apply, don't try to force it. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Um, this is also a timeless reading. So whenever you find yourselves, um, you know, clicking on this video or whenever this video has found you, that was divine timing and in divine order that you have done so. Uh, I am also an, in, an empath and I am uh, a channeler. So I intuitively pick up on the energies uh, and I am clairaudient. So I do incorporate music into my readings and the way that it works is a song um whether the name of the song title of the song maybe the lyrics within the song name of the artist or even sometimes the time stamp um or a number associated with the song it will correlate with what i am channeling intuitively as well as what the cards um are coming what's coming out in the cards and it all just tends to blend very beautifully uh right now we have Rahim divine and this is called Love Don't Come Easy. Um, so some of you masculines could be dealing with a love ship situation. Uh, maybe this is a current love situation. Um, in this song, he is speaking to the importance of fighting for um, what you want, you know, especially when it comes to love. Um, you got to put in the work. You got to be willing to compromise. You got to be willing to look beyond just yourself, you know, uh, because that relationship is an extension of you. And so the same way you would care and nurture for yourselves, um, it is expected um, for you to care and nurture for uh, the relationship with that same um, that same intention and and tenderness and um, firmness, if you will. Uh, even with that with that same vigor, it's like you have to still cultivate and nurture uh, a relationship in order for it to be healthy. So maybe that's something you all are pondering on. At this time, uh, maybe you've had a relationship that has failed uh, and you're coming to this realization that maybe you didn't put in enough effort. You didn't do as much as you could have to perhaps, I'm hearing the word salvage in my mind's eye, to um, to save it, you know. Um, and I saw save, like, you know, if you see like uh, movies, how they'll have like a motel light flashing. That's how I saw the word save, save, save. It was kind of flashing in my mind's eye. So it's like a lot of you all didn't put forth um, any extra energy or attention in salvaging or saving a relationship. And now there could be some regrets about that. Um, if there aren't necessarily regrets, there is a lot of reflecting 
on that relationship. Uh, there is a lot of um, thinking about that relationship or thinking about that love ship. And so, you know, maybe there is this uh, epiphany or some sort of uh, revelation um, that you could be having or experiencing at this time. If this is not your energy, then this could very well be that divine feminine energy uh, with whom you are um, not in communication with. Um, but I just feel like there is uh, some sort of realization or just kind of reflecting on a connection, whether it's a current relationship or a past relationship and realizing uh, perhaps even for the first time um, that you didn't do as much as you perhaps could have to save the connection, to save that that relationship. And more importantly, maybe there is still some feelings that are there. Uh, you're starting to realize that you still hold very strong feelings for a particular person. Or again, this if this isn't your energy, this could be the person that you are attracting the person that's thinking of you but that's just what i'm picking up intuitively i would still like to uh proceed with the read but first let me do some house clean so as i said i am claire audience you will hear music throughout the reading um and i will utilize whatever i'm hearing and it will be incorporated in the reading in the manner in which i do so so that's how i do things on my side of the planet again i will that my energy resonates with you correlates with you vibes with you uh that my frequency um is just a match for yours and you choose to stay a while you know you smash the like button when you finish the reading if you feel so compelled to do so and definitely um subscribe to the channel subscribe to the soul family we are very cool calm and collected on this side of the planet like you know the comments um section is usually just love people showing each other love checking in you know so the soul family is very much um very good vibrations on this side. Uh, we don't do any negativity, no toxicity. We don't do none of that. Um, we don't do no bot-ish. We don't do no clone-ish. We don't do none of that 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 low vibrational stuff over here. As my name uh, <laughs> uh, states, it's a higher frequency vibration on this side of the planet. Again, I will that my energy vibes with yours. And more importantly, I hope the reading resonates with you. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, for all of you who are returning beloveds, you already know what it is. Love is love is love, beloved. I thank y'all so much for just always showing the support. As I said, y'all are always looking out for one another, showing each other love. I just appreciate the, the, the consistency with some of you. You've been rocking with me since day uno. And I recognize that and I appreciate that so much. Um, when I hit that 10,000 mark, I think I want to give away um, two free readings. I want to try to get an um, energy of a feminine energy and a masculine energy. It's going to be still a deep dive reading, but it's going to be about you, um, you directly, what you're dealing with. Um, so it will be a personal reading. So I want to give away two personal readings for a masculine and a feminine. Um, and we got to get the numbers up to 10,000. So once we hit that 10,000 mark, I will go ahead and gift uh, some of you all. This is more like paying it forward. It ain't even a gift. This is like, this is rotating the love. The love that you all have shown, you got me up to that. To that, um, It's really like a, um, um, a goal, you know, to get to that 10 um, and to continue to see you know this this soul tribe grow that that's a beautiful beautiful way to um see that there's progress being made but uh i was thinking about this and i definitely am going to um start announcing that once i hit that ten thousand mark i'm giving away um you know uh two free readings for a feminine or masculine and then i'll also gift someone it'll just be one person so i'm giving away three gifts uh, it'll be uh, someone who will uh, win a gift of their choice from my uh, from my shop. So they get to go in and choose whatever it is that they want. You know what I'm talking about. So that's how I'm gonna show love. Uh, you go, you go choose. You you tell me what you want. Um, a gift is a gift is a gift is a gift. I, I, I'm very 
uh, passionate about everything that's on my shop. So whatever you like, you know, whatever it is you like, <laughs> you know, that's what you go get. So yeah, that's what I'm. That's what spirit put on my heart. So we're going we're gonna rock like that. Um, we have Mary J. Blige, uh, and the name of this is called It's On. So yeah, some of y'all, some of you brothers, you know, out there, some of you divine masculines um, are definitely uh going after something you know with it's on i definitely feel like you going after something you ready to take that step you you ready to go and 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 you know mark your territory so to speak you know uh so i see y'all going after something i see like chariot energy movement you know and and you're moving on with passion you know uh because this is a very sexy song uh, by Mary J. Blige. Some of you all could be dealing with someone that is named uh, Mary, first, middle, or last. Maybe they have a J in their name. I'm seeing the word Jessica, Jan. Um, I'm seeing Jan. I'm seeing uh, Jennifer. Uh, I'm seeing Juanita. I'm seeing um, Jacqueline. I'm even hearing the word Javen, Javon, Jalen. Jelani, Jacob, John, 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 I, I heard John, John, juniors, maybe some of you all could be a junior, um, I'm hearing Jesus as well, Jesus, Julio, Juan, And I'm hearing Jeremy. Those are the words. Those are the J words that I just heard. So, you know, some of you all definitely, uh, that could be your names. That could be someone of significance. Um, maybe that's a first, middle, or last. Or maybe you're dealing with someone that has those names. Uh, maybe there's an uh, ancestor that could be coming through. That could be, you know, named some of those aforementioned names. Um, but that's what I'm picking up. So let's go ahead. We're going to proceed with the read. Before we do, I'm going to do some some house cleaning. Um, I will not be performing a sound bath today because uh, it is a little early in the a.m. Uh, and both of my children are still snoozing. Um, so I'm just going to be respectful, but I will uh, proceed with the read once we do some house cleaning. Um, we also have Prince Marky D and the Soul Connection, and this is called um, Swing My Way, you know. So I definitely, with Swing uh maybe there was a situation that was constantly going back and forth forth and back it was almost like you was on this perpetual roller coaster ride with somebody um and maybe that's the reason why i was seeing like movement you know because maybe you're making a decision to leave a situation behind or maybe you're moving on um to something else or maybe you just feel um like you want to pop up on somebody maybe you're planning a trip maybe you're strategizing a particular um out you know of one situation to go into another or if you aren't in a situation maybe you are just preparing in general um but you're hoping things go your way you know maybe someone was just very me 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 i i i my way or the highway uh maybe this is someone who had a wandering eye um i'm also getting a swinger so i don't know if some of you all was dealing with that type of energy where you just kind of like be you know rotating mates or something like that maybe you discovered somebody was um i'm heard i'm hearing the word escort uh you know so they're just like getting paid to go in a company gentleman uh and they may partake in sexual rendezvous with this gentleman depending upon a price but i'm seeing swingers um i'm even seeing like parties where um, you know how, I don't know if y'all know anything about this particular lifestyle, but spirit has given me a lot. So maybe this definitely is um, in relation to some some of you all out there that could be dealing with this. But I just saw like a big bowl and keys inside of the bowl. So if you know anything about that swing of lifestyle, what typically happens is there will be a party thrown at this big house, mansion, maybe just someone's apartment. It doesn't even have to be a big house. But it is an environment where people that are typically couples um, go to experience another um, 
partner from a different relationship. So they're swingers. They're willing to swing this way, that way. Um, so um, maybe somebody discovered someone was going to swing a parties, but for some reason I was seeing a bowl with all of the keys. The keys represent like people who, you know, that many guests, you know, because when you come in, you got your car keys, you put it inside of the bowl. And that is done just so um, it's like you are, you're all in at that point. You know what I'm talking about? Like you're all in. Uh, it's almost like there's no going backwards. But that's what I just saw. And that's what I was picking up on um, energetically. But let me go ahead and, um, you know, do the house cleaning so we could proceed in the read. I see Spirit has a lot to say to you all as well. There's a lot to say to you all. Uh, but I do feel like, um, who is a lot to unpack in this reading. I could already see it. <laughs> but let's go ahead and do some house cleaning. I call upon the elements of water fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mo it be. Ashe, 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 beautiful souls. So, as I said, we got Prince Marky D still playing. So, you know, even with, um, you know, that Prince, I do feel like somebody is trying to be or coming off like a knight in shining armor um maybe someone is being very charming maybe someone um is being emotionally manipulative uh because when i think of the prince i always see like um and the prince is kind of like you know more they they need more experience they're not as mature um the knight would be more of you know maybe someone that has um matured a little bit you know but the king obviously is very indicative or symbolic of you know reaching that level of self mastery uh so with that prince maybe this is someone who was kind of like emotionally stunted uh maybe this was just someone young you know maybe some of you all are healing your inner child you know maybe some of you all went through some things when y'all were younger um and maybe that is the reason why you all respond uh to relationships the way you do or maybe the reason why you have a certain perspective about love um the you know the way you do but i, I do feel like there is this this young mind you know maybe the a very immature belief system or perspective um very inexperienced is what i'm feeling in a certain arena not saying in the whole uh you know as a whole um, but just in a, you know, the, the area of love, perhaps, uh, some of you all could have just been players. Like I said, kind of flighty in and out. Um, not really looking for no commitment, not really looking to, you know, be boggled down, um, in one relationship. You felt very much smothered. Um, you know, you kind of wanted your freedom. You wanted to be able to come and go. Uh, so you were not the commitment type. Uh, and maybe you, and I, I've been seeing a falcon, uh, flying above my window a lot and when I looked up the spiritual meaning of the falcon uh, these are the uh, words associated with the falcon and it was right as I was doing uh, your reading so I know that this is definitely a message for some of you divine masculines you yangs um, some of the words are agility ascension aspiration change determination focus freedom grace intensity life purpose light mental speed movement power prophecy purpose soul healing speed spirit superiority swiftness transition understanding magic and visionary power so those are some powerful words in and of itself and perhaps this was some of the maturity. This is what has, um, 
you know, the maturity, the growing, the working on the self. This is what it has, um, this is where it's led. It's led you to that, to that space where you are um, very wise. You know, you've done some work on yourselves. Um, but there is a reflecting upon a form of connection. And we have Murder, She Wrote, playing by Shaka Demus and Pliers. And so, Murder, She Wrote. Somebody ended something because there was definitely... I feel like there was a female that is of significance that perhaps killed the relationship. There was the cause behind the demise of a relationship. You know, or there is... Because with Murder, She Wrote, um, I just feel like there was a death. You know, um, doing part to a feminine energy. So I feel maybe this feminine energy is the culprit, uh, which led to your growth in understanding, um, which led to the, you know, this epiphany that perhaps there's something else that that interests you, um, something other than perhaps what you've been a part of, because you realize somebody was acting like they was not in a relationship, or maybe this is you. Um, <clears throat> but it's almost like... Even bumping into the wrong one, you know, it could provide some sort of grand epiphany. You know, a light bulb moment could come up. You know, maybe some of you all saw some red flags uh, with murder. She wrote, it's like this done, something was done, something was, um, something was um, definitely um, over is what I'm hearing. So we're going to uh, use the uh, Halloween Oracle deck. Um, I want to say happy solar return to any of you all who are Scorpios, um, who are celebrating at this time. This is Scorpio season. I too am a Scorpio. Um, if your solar return happens to be today, which is the um, 13th, uh, the day that I am recording is the 13th, November 13th. I sing uh, happy, happy solar return to you all. If your solar return has already passed, um, Happy belated, beloveds. I hope that it's all that you uh, desire, uh, Shay. So what we have on the bottom of the Halloween Oracle deck is we have ancestors. And it says the love and the legacy of your DNA. So very, very much I'm feeling like um, you have ancestors. Um, you have a legacy, you know, that you are starting to think more about. Uh, maybe you don't have siblings. You could be an only child and you're thinking about how your legacy has to continue on. And if you're not in a healthy relationship, how could you do that? Like, how can you, um, you know, how can you start to work on building this legacy if you can't even have a healthy um, connection or, or even have a healthy relationship? Uh, with a divine feminine. So it's like maybe you're pondering more on this. Maybe this is something your ancestors are uh, putting in your heart. Um, but this also speaks to the protection, um, the spiritual protection, even the cover. You know, you're covered uh, by your ancestors, your guides, your spirit team. Um, I also feel there is a, a, a purpose of some sort. You have a very um, strong purpose here it's like it is um it is intertwined with mother gaia um i feel like you have a connection to mother gaia daughter earth um maybe you are someone who is an earth sign um i also feel like a healthy relationship or love ship with a divine feminine will ground you um i just get a strong sense of you being in a space of of really being in alignment with your higher self with your christ consciousness you're in a god frequency so to speak a very creative space and i i hear a train approaching um, but it's still at a distance so perhaps there is a love of um interest that could be at a distance but I also feel like your ancestors are really putting in your heart that it's time to start thinking of your legacy, to start thinking of perhaps even your future. I see Buena Vista, and um, this is uh, 
um, Buena Vista Social Club and this is called Chan Chan and so I feel like you know some of you all have not been much of a social butterfly as of late you've been kind of like a hermit you've been really like you know really meditating to get things straight you've been resting and rejuvenating just really kind of like working on the self and the train is going by so I do feel like perhaps maybe there's uh, this this energy of like someone could be feeling like there's distance or maybe you're you know uh, starting to realize that you know the distance is affecting you from a particular person but I strongly feel like you know whoever this pertains to you I don't feel like there's been much um, social activity uh, there's been really more of a focus on working on the self and I was picking up with that junior earlier uh, that there was someone that really realized like the the necessity uh, to heal perhaps their inner child or maybe they were acting a little juvenile because we had uh, Prince Marky D earlier singing swing my way and now we have um buena vista so this could even be someone again you know maybe a foreign someone that lives in a another country that could be why, why i was picking up on distance maybe this is someone that's from a, a different uh background ethnic background cultural background from you so divine spirit of love and light what's coming and going out going on for my divine masculines and get a message of love and a message of light let's see what we got coming in maybe some of you all used to constantly be in the club very social and i was picking up like that wandering eye you know we also had um you know like i said um swing my way you know so this could be someone who was just kind of like all over the place um just not really committed. I just don't get commitment energy from that type of energy. If you're just swinging, um, I was also getting the sense of someone being just like going back and forth, you know, because that's what a swing does. It goes forward, it goes backwards, go forward. So maybe this was like a situation that was just constantly like up and down, you know, even, you know, just non consistent or inconsistent, you know, very inconsistent type of uh, situation here. And right now we have Slum Village fall in love. And on the bottom of the deck we have Skull of Darkness blind spots. So someone didn't see something clearly, but now it's like, you know, they're starting to see, you know, with this blind spots and that candle on the um, crown. Someone was definitely hard headed and stubborn. This is someone that was definitely like trying to play hard to get. Someone who's also closed minded. I don't feel like they were very open-minded. I definitely feel like they was almost like, um, this is an energy of like, you know, how people be like, oh, you're trying to act like they used to act in the um, Stone Ages, you know? You know, and we with fall in love, maybe someone is realizing like, you know, they love somebody, you know? They feel all warm and, 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 and um, tender inside. And this is, you know, really because... Uh, you know with this blind spot this is something that they didn't even see initially and that's what I was picking up on like somebody didn't even you know know how to love but they fell in love because you got Slum Village singing fall in love so somebody done fell in love so let's see what we got come on we're going to cut the deck in a minute and then we're going to proceed with the read see what's coming in going out going on with the Divine Masculine, my Yang energy. Let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on. I feel good with that. I'm going to cut the deck three times. Three different ways. Let's see what we got, beloved. And this is the last cut. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. And we have Zombie. Didn't I say somebody was controlling me, 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 I, 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 my way or the highway and we got zombie. So somebody realizing how controlling they were, you know, and they're coming, they're waking up, you know, sleep is the cousin of death. We did have the ancestors show up and it said the love and um, life of 
legacy of the DNA, something to that extent. So it's almost like somebody is learning or realizing, um, you know, that they had, you know, that maybe they, 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 they're, um, they had a real negative um, perspective, a negative outlook on something. Give me one moment. Pardon me. Yeah, but somebody may have realized, like, you know, they were kind of like self-sabotaging, you know. Because I look at this like this zombie is like breaking through, you know, um, the earth, you know, as if to say they're waking up. So someone could have been under someone's control. You know, maybe someone felt very controlled or maybe someone was being manipulated emotionally. Um, maybe even energetically, somebody could have been manipulating their energy. Or maybe this is their own ignorance. They was in the dark, you know, because when you're coming out of the ground, I mean, this is dark. It's dark in, 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 you know, when you're buried. And remember, we had blind spots. So it's like somebody definitely was struggling with a little bit of confusion, not being able to see things clearly, a lack of, uh, you know, understanding even. But it's also this person is kind of like coming through, so, you know, having some sort of awakening, you know, gaining control of themselves through reflecting it's almost like you know taking that time out you know being in that hermit mode working on themselves it's like they're starting to awaken you know to some sort of negative behavior characteristic at you know some some sort of habit you know that they had that was not um conducive to their betterment and we got jizza and odb So, yeah, this person was really, um, and I'm getting they weren't a genius. <laughs> so, you know, because Jizza is short for genius. And then ODB is Old Dirty Bastard, but he's also known as Asan, um, Big Baby, um, Big Baby Jesus. <laughs> he had a couple of monikers, a couple of names. Um, so, this this person had absolutely come out of the dark they was literally in the stone ages and remember i was picking up stone ages and then you know you see this tombstone here so it was like you know and i was saying with murder she wrote i feel like someone killed another person's ego this person that was very controlling whether this is your energy or someone else's energy it's like someone absolutely I feel walked away, ended the connection, ended a relationship because um, it said murder she wrote. So if you murder something, it's dead. So I was picking up the demise of like a connection, the demise of relationship, love ship. And then there was also distance because that train was going by for like 45 years. So I was picking up distance. And then that blind spot card showed up. You know, so with the candle on top of the skull. So it was like somebody that was literally confused, mentally conflicted. Somebody that truly um, didn't have even any self-control. Because I was picking up on swingers and, you know, somebody who was kind of like wandering eye, non-committal. It's like murder she wrote. Maybe this feminine chose to walk away. Maybe this feminine chose to end this connection. You know, and with Jizza and Old Dirty Bastard, um, somebody felt somebody was just grimy. You know, somebody was just, you know, inconsiderate, heartless even. And this zombie is having some sort of breakthrough. You know, the zombies also represent like lost souls. You know, so maybe there was an element of somebody under the control of another person, maybe through means of witchery. Um, witchcraft, voodoo, juju, hoodoo, santaria, somebody throwing roots. And with Dirty Bassett, it could have been somebody that was real grimy. You know, somebody that was real, like, just real sussy energy. And we have homie love a friend looking for um, my homie love a friend playing. And this is by R. Kelly.
Robert's uh, Kelly. So that's the name of R. Kelly. So some of you all could be named Robert, maybe Kelly, first, middle, or last name. And then this was from the Low Down Dirty Shame um, album, I mean movie. So this is one of the songs from the soundtrack. So you, this was, uh, I feel like you are coming into a season uh, where you are meeting someone that you feel is like your twin or someone because I, I was strongly feeling with that ancestors card like your ancestors someone in the spirit realm is really conspiring and aligning you up with someone that's meant to be in your life because you have a legacy to fulfill you know and maybe you out here and time is just you know you know, even though we know time is fluid, but it's like in their perspective, it's like you're not working on what you're meant to be working on. So they're trying to kind of like realign you with your purpose because maybe you've lost your way. You know, maybe some of you all were dealing with karmics. Maybe someone that's meant to be in your life is dealing with a karmic that has them kind of like astray. You know, I'm seeing like imprisonment of the mind, confusion, you know, confusion, delusion, illusion. It's like someone has like this, it's almost like a, um, a blindfold. And that's why spirit is doing everything to provide some sort of clarity to nudge another person. And I feel like it's in regards to a love ship because you got homie love a friend here. So this is someone that's going to be, you know, everything in one. It's almost like TLC with that crazy, sexy, cool album when i was growing up that was like you know a dope terminology to define a feminine at that time you wanted somebody that was a little crazy because that means that she'll go hard for you you know um sexy you wanted to still be sexy even though you know back in the days the style was to rock baggy clothes you still wanted to be sexy with it so you add little touches to make it more you know more feminine because you know I, the 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 dress um, the clothing at the time when I was coming up, it was like they had so many different styles. I can't even say it was just one thing, but there was a time when being uh, wearing baggy clothes uh, was really the ish. You know, girls was dre dressing like boys. Um, when you think of TLC, that's literally, you know, how a lot of women was dressing. Even if you look at Queen Latifah, MC Light, it was just, you know, maybe that was a part of just the times where, um, you know, we were... Uh, around our male co um, co you know uh, counterparts and we were just mimicking their energy but it was a time when that's what we was rocking you know we was rocking the baggy clothes so that's where the you still want to put that sexy element you still want to be you know have that sex appeal and then cool you want you want your homie lover friend you want somebody you could talk to about everything you don't want nobody that's a prude it's like you bring up certain topics. Oh my God, why are you talking about that? Oh my God, why are you doing that? Ew, I don't like that. Oh, that's scary. Like, you don't want nobody that's that difficult, that's that close minded. You know, you want somebody that you could get on the court with and play basketball, or somebody you could throw a football to, or maybe even somebody that you could just take a hike with or go working out. Or, you know, like, y'all are willing to compromise, you know, um, for one another. You know, and so maybe that is an element of something that you are looking at now. It's like you you could have had that with someone in particular, um, but you didn't give them the time of day because maybe you was you was kind of, um, you know, stuck in something like this, you know, where there was there was a lot of control. There was a lot of even just um, it just felt like it was dead. You know, whatever isn't growing is dead. Um, but it's like with this zombie breaking through, I, I strongly feel like somebody is, is taking control back. Uh, someone is making a decision to take control, um, of their situation, of their life, because look what we have on the bottom of the deck. So the overall energy is zombie control. And what's on the bottom of the deck is owl. And it says wise seeing wise action. So it's like, this is the, um, learning curve right here somebody has taken that time in you know because when you're buried again it's like you're in the darkness it's very similar to kind of like incubating if you will you know you're in that nine ether beloved so it's like you have nothing but time to reflect you know and um 
I do feel there's a sense of like growing uh, to um, to a space where you now understand or you're now seeing something uh, for what it truly is or you've learned something with this wise seeing wise action so it's like maybe you're realizing um, the error in your ways how controlling you could have been or how someone was controlling of you and they maybe this owl is indicative of freeing yourself freeing your mind having clarity something becoming illuminating uh, illuminated um, but this is like this is the application of knowledge. It's like wise don't because they're referencing the word wise. So it's like you're wiser. So you have wise dome, which means the experiences or something that you have experienced in your past has led to this ascension, which was one of those um, words that was associated with the uh, animal totem that I saw right before uh, you're doing your radio, uh, your radio, your reading. It was a falcon. And my throat chakra is getting blocked. So you could potentially have some communication or maybe you will be communicating because you have been idle for quite some time. Or you've been kind of like, um, you know, like meditating to get things straight. Uh, just tapping into your Christ consciousness, your higher self, receiving the downloads, you know, just even just reflecting upon something. So let's see, who is this person that my divine masculines are attracting to them? We have a message of love and light. And I keep seeing the overcast of this um, beautiful um, animal totem falcon. It's just been circling in front of my window. Um, so my spirit. And we have um, Rick James. Uh, this is called fire and desire. So yeah, there's a lot of passion. So whoever this is, this could uh, even be a fire sign. Maybe you're dealing with someone who's a fire sign. Or maybe you have fire in your chart. But I do feel like these are feelings that have been intensifying which is why someone is desiring another person and if you see i was saying that someone is not communicating or someone wants to communicate it's taking me very long to get the card for the person you're attracting so it's like they are not communicating this is no this is a person or you're not communicating with look what flew right back out Look what flew right back out. Why seeing wise action? And look what's on the bottom of the deck. Same card that I was just breaking down the blind spot. See that? So this is why it's taken long because this person is still um, not clear as to how to take action. They're getting clearer, you know, with fire and desire. That fire is also illuminating, um, but it's also, you know, insinuating that someone's realizing they're uh, very... Um, uh, passionate about a particular person or they have uh, some sort of attraction uh, towards or for someone um, and it's 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 growing out of their control uh, they cannot censor it they cannot repress it they cannot hide it deny it uh, any longer whether this is your energy or this could be the energy of someone that's coming towards you because this is the card that I'm pulling for is the person you are attracting so with fire and desire, maybe you are realizing you're desiring someone and you've been trying to control uh, these urges, these feelings, um, but it's like you no longer have control because that's what the zombie is. The zombie is literally, they have no control. You know, they just thirst for whatever it is they're thirsting for, whether it's blood, I don't, I don't know what a zombie's purpose is in life, but... Um, it's showing me that there was some something that was perhaps not in your control, out of your control, or someone could have been controlling. Uh, this led to the demise of a connection. And I feel like now there is this fire, this desire, this intensity, this attraction that could protect, protect, potentially be growing within another person. Someone has been doing some deep diving, um, really working on themselves. If you look as I said, you know, the zombie is breaking from um, the ground, you know, coming from out of the ground. So that's, you know, a very dark place. It's like a space of, of um, you know, reflecting. Um, it's also speaking to, uh, you know, the depth, working on the self. So taking deep dives, internal self audits, uh, but with wise seeing, wise action. Someone has discovered something, realized something, learned something. Uh, and with this owl uh, taking flight, it's like they're going after what they want. So that was the energy of Swing My Way by Prince Marky D. Someone is going to either reach out and communicate with you, uh, perhaps 
uh, you know, visit you, pull up, you know, because I was picking up distance. I also feel this is someone who's now looking at things from a different perspective. Uh, they're seeing something from a different perspective. Maybe you've uh, shifted your consciousness in a way uh, where you're no longer, um, you know, you're no longer like uh, doing things habitually or, you know, you're no longer like... Um, behaving a certain way you know it's like you've changed something you've altered something within your consciousness uh and it's because like whatever you were not clear of uh whatever maybe even the stubbornness or the ego uh it could affect uh you know masculines a lot the ego when you don't you know when you cannot control your ego um it could put potentially put you in some really tough situations you know and i feel like maybe that was uh, what this this lesson was about this karmic lesson was really about like self-control um, you know an analysis and that like an analyzing pardon me uh, certain things even yourselves you know but this this passion and desire paint playing by Rick James some of you all could be named James um, I don't know if I mentioned the name James when I was picking up on that J earlier but this also could be um, a name you know, first, middle, and last. This could be your name. This could be someone's um, last name that you were dealing with. Um, maybe this is an elder. You had um, a grandfather named James, an uncle or a brother, a cousin that is in this, you know, an ancestor now. Um, but I feel like with this blind spot, there's illumination because this candle is lit. So it's like, you know, and obviously with wise seeing, wise action, that's speaking to, you know, having um, the wise dome now, you know, now seeing something clearly. Uh, so, you know, these two cards to here definitely represent like wise dome, you know, becoming wiser, you know, seeing something clearly, whatever blind spots were there, it's now you can see through them because, you know, these uh, owl animal totems, uh, they're they're nocturnal. And they have the ability to turn their heads uh, 360 so they could see everything, you know. And they take flight when they know that there's, um, you know, when they're assured there's a win. Like, so if they're taking flight, they're going after prey that doesn't even know they're coming, you know. These are very fierce animal totems as well. But they're also very wise, as I said, because they can see what's hidden. They're highly um, they're very symbolic of intuition as well. So I feel like, you know, someone's following their intuition or they're using discernment and they're going to, um, they're going to take some sort of action. They're going to, um, I feel swing your way, pay a visit, you know, but there's, there's communication I feel that's coming and we have average white band playing and this is called work to do. So with work to do, uh, yeah, this person knows they have a lot of work to do to repair it because I'm about to pull um, the energy for how they feel about you. So they feel like, you know, maybe you have some work to do. Some I'm hearing you got some splaining to do. So maybe if this isn't you, maybe this is how you feel. Somebody got some splaining to do, especially if it's someone from your past. Um, I don't feel this is like an ex or someone that has wronged you. I feel like this is someone that. Um, really didn't give you the time of day or you didn't really give them the time of day and now maybe you're discovering you had a little more in common with them they was kind of like they wore all three of those hats like your homie lover and your friend uh, maybe there was some deep dive and someone reflecting and they're realizing this about you that you you know had all of the qualities that they were looking for in a partner um, that you made them laugh that you accepted them for who they were how they were um, you know maybe this is someone that you felt a very strong spiritual connection with um, maybe synergy, maybe chemistry was through the roof. Uh, but this was definitely someone who could hold a conversation. Um, someone who was, you know, experienced or stimulated you, interested you. Um, but you couldn't really, uh, I don't even feel you couldn't. You just chose not to um, give that person the time or the energy. Maybe you felt it was getting too serious and you wasn't looking for a commitment at the time. So y'all kind of parted ways. Maybe this person ended things with you because maybe they thought you was playing games but what it was was you weren't really expressing yourself you weren't really emoting um, because my throat chakra was getting blocked and I was just feeling like somebody doesn't communicate here so whether that be because they don't know how to or because they just refuse my bad something just fell but um yeah so maybe they just feel like um 
you know, you maybe you felt like you just didn't really have to invest in something if you weren't looking for a commitment to begin with. And instead of, you know, explaining that or expressing that, perhaps you you just kind of like ghosted somebody or you just kind of like just stopped uh, reaching out, you know, or maybe someone just said, you know what, um, I'm, I'm, I'm creating boundaries and they just maybe they stopped you know, uh, accepting your phone calls, um, responding to your text. Maybe they changed their phone number, or maybe you changed yours. Whatever the case may be, someone uh, has grown wiser, and I feel like this is somebody that had that was thick-headed. You know, very stubborn, very um, ignorant, confused, mentally conflicted, even. Um, and with this work to do, they're working on themselves. Somebody's working on themselves. Uh, someone may feel another person needed to work on themselves, but. Let's tap in. So let's see. How does this person, our beautiful divine masculines, how do they feel about our divine masculines? We have a message of love and light. And apparently they want to give it to you, baby, because we got Rick James playing give it to me, baby. And somebody could be named Rick, Ricky. I'm hearing Ricky. Pretty Ricky was what they called him. Maybe some of y'all was real. Maybe some of y'all are pretty. You know, y'all could be one of them type of masculines that like to go get you know man man um manicures you know you like to keep your nails dipped in milk and you know you know it's, i mean to each his own you know you like to look good you go you you go in and pamper yourself the same way you know a divine feminine would you know so it's like you, your upkeep you like to go get your your trim your beard uh you know the little essential oils to keep your beard looking healthy and shiny um maybe you like to get your hair uh, like I said, trimmed. You may go and get, you know, get your, uh, get your, um, your toes done. Maybe you like to get massages on a regular basis. But I just feel like a man that pampers himself, takes himself to, uh, you know, go get those massages or to, you know, work out the little kinks. Um, maybe you go to physical therapy. Maybe some of you all are physical therapists. Um, but I just feel like maybe even this is something that you was doing with your divine feminine. Like y'all would go on like couple spa days, you know, y'all would go and get your 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 nails done, your toes done, um, you know, go get um massages together. You know, that was just something that you all like to do together. Um, maybe that's something you'll want to do with your next partner. Uh, because it's like you just want to be in their world, you know, because you didn't give them the time in the past. So this is vice versa because they didn't give you the time in the past or they weren't open minded to do the things perhaps that you were interested in. Maybe this time around, that's something they're willing to give to you. Maybe this is what you're willing to do. You know, that's the compromise that comes in the relationship. That's the work, you know, that Raheem Devine was saying, love don't come easy. So you have to put forth the work and the effort. Um, a lot of masculines tend to be a little jaded uh, in the arena of showing emotion or affection or even attentiveness. You know, they try to have this this false sense of masculinity, um, you know, as being soft, soft. And it's like, it's not soft. You know, what it is, is, is it's love. You're showing love, you know. So maybe this is something that you all have grown um, wiser about. This is maybe a subject matter that you have opened your mind to. Um, with Give It To Me Baby, I definitely feel there's going to be a lot of passion. Um, there's a lot of sexual uh, um, tension, too, I feel, between you and whoever this person is. So the cards that flew out um, is we have Trick or Treat, and it says Mischief in Play. So see that? Homie, Love a Friend. And then we have Spider, Community and Web Weaving. So how they feel about you is they feel that there is this fun banter. The two of you have a dope, like, chemistry, dynamic. Y'all could be silly together. Um, Y'all could be serious together. It's like there's, like, they love how, um, it's just like there's a lot of um, layers, I feel, to this connection. It's just a very special connection is what they feel. It's also a connection they feel is very sacred. It's protected. Um... Because these jack-o'-lanterns here, those pumpkins represent protection. Um, in this very same deck, if you look, uh, it will show you protection. So they feel very protective of you and this relationship. They could literally, um, I feel because they're wearing like costumes, um, maybe they feel like you were putting on a facade, uh, that you weren't being your authentic self. 
um, maybe they felt like you were being protective of your energy. Um, maybe you were putting on, you know, some sort of f facade. Uh, like you were pretending not to care, but you truly did. Uh, because with this ghost, they also feel you ghosted them. They felt like you ghosted them. And then there is, I believe this is supposed to be, I don't even know what this thing is supposed to be on the side. I don't know what that is. But it was like, they, they felt you were very um, careless in the way that you handled them. And we got Casa Overall. Um, and the name of the song is called Halfway House. So it was like halfway, I'm getting a sense of like you was never all in to begin with. They felt like you just played a lot of games, you know, with mischief and play. You know, maybe they felt like, you know, because I was picking up on a juvenile energy. And this is how they feel about you, you know. But maybe this is what they represented in your eyes is, you know, someone that was, uh, you know, kind of like expecting more. You know, you want, they, they wanted to play and you wanted a house, a home, you know. You wanted to make that house a home. You wanted to to build and to nurture. You know, you wanted to have that happy house, happy spouse. And they was out there, you know, playing games. Like I said, I was picking up on a swinger. So somebody could have been swinging both ways. Uh, maybe you found out somebody was bisexual, um, was into women and men, you know. Um, but I definitely feel like with this energy, they also feel um, that you weren't necessarily all in because with halfway house it was like maybe they discovered you were already um involved and invested in another situation which is why you just kind of breadcrumbed them along gave them bits and pieces of yourself and then they also feel like you ghosted them because that's what one of these characters are is a literal ghost so they feel like you never really let them get past a certain threshold with you um very guarded i feel like they feel like you are very guarded and we have skeleton here and it says strength. So, you know, maybe, you know, what's hidden because um, the outcome is the next card. And what was hidden is spider and it says community and web weaving. So there is an opportunity, you know, um, that, you know, someone is hoping for where they can uh, really cultivate this connection. You know, because spiders work very hard. So remember, there was a song saying work for it. Someone's willing to come in and do the work necessary. Um, there's a lot of, of work uh, required in weaving this beautiful web. Um, so this is what someone is willing to do. Like they're willing to put forth the work to build that alliance partnership with you um, so that they can have that legacy, that family, that home so that they could you know, build that nucleus, you know, a foundation even. Someone sees you as working very hard on yourself. But I do feel like, you know, because this energy of the spider uh, really in the community is saying that you really have a support system in the spirit realm. Um, I also feel like, you know, things could have spiraled out of your control. Um... You know, as I said, maybe some of you all felt um, imprisoned in a relationship or someone may have felt like they were imprisoned in the mind, uh, like in the dark about a lot. You know, uh, maybe someone, as I said, you know, through those very formative years um, of development, they could have had a very uh, toxic, you know, family dynamic or a toxic childhood. You know, if it's a feminine, maybe the feminine had a very estranged relationship with her father where he was absent. And so she may have entered relationships looking for a father figure, someone to protect her and to be her provider and her supporter. And, you know, and it could have been too much on a divine masculine who didn't grow up with their mother or they grew up in a household without a father. So they didn't have those qualities that was necessary to nurture a relationship because they didn't have the capacity to love to the extent that that feminine did, you know, and a part of that was because this was the way they protected themselves because of the hurt they felt from that absentee mother or what, you know what I'm saying? So hurt people will hurt people. It's perpetual until you do the work, until you heal thyself. 
And that's why we have this zombie control and then this wise seeing wise action next to one another. This shows that, you know, someone is coming out of, you know, some sort of um, faulty belief system, some sort of some sort of negative mindset. And they're seeing things differently. They're seeing things clearer. And we have um, we have William Bell, and it's called "I Forgot to Be Your Lover." See that? I can't make this ish up. Somebody didn't know how to love. Somebody didn't know how to be a lover because they were never taught that. They never saw that. If you don't grow up with an example right in front of your face of having a healthy mother and father uh, love dynamic marriage, if you don't grow in a household, grow up in a household with a mother and a father that you saw them. Um, you know, showing love and affection and being a partner, you know, being in a partnership, a healthy partnership, then you're not going to grow up and know how to do that either. You know, you can have other experiences of that, but it will definitely affect you um, more so if you didn't have that within your own household. It kind of hardens you, you know, it kind of numbs you even, you know. It makes you not trusting of, of that situation, not as open to extend yourself to that degree. But somebody forgot to be another person's lover. And we have the name William that's coming through. So someone could be named William. And then I'm hearing Bill. I don't know where people get William from Bill. Because remember, um, Bill Clinton, the former president, his name is actually William. But I digress. Um... But definitely with that bell, I feel like there's an epiphany, an aha, William Bell. So the bell is going off. It's like somebody's finally having some sort of wake-up call where they know now Now they're realizing, okay, they got to come in and they have to they have to put in the work as well. As I said in the beginning of the reading, Raheem Devine was saying, love don't come easy, beloved. You got to put in work every day. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, love, 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 love. Yeah, so you, you, it doesn't come easy if you're not putting in the work. And if somebody forgot to be another lover, they were checked out. It was checked out of the relationship because remember, that's what we had. Um, you know, it said um, Casa Overall. And what was the name of that Casa Overall song? I can't even see it right now. But he was saying something about something was like halfway. So someone was only you know, putting in half, you know, they weren't, they weren't reciprocal. They weren't reciprocating rather. They wasn't meeting someone halfway. And with this strength, I feel like someone's finally, you know, taking their power back. Strength deals with, you know, the solar plexus, you know, so maybe somebody is finally like getting, you know, building up the confidence. And we got Nas, the message here. And I think that played in the Scorpio reading, if I'm not mistaken. So someone's receiving, I feel like, download. Someone may receive a message from, you know, someone. They may receive a message, a DM, an email, or even perhaps a phone call. But I feel like someone's building or uh, mustering up the strength and the courage to come forward. I definitely feel like this is that person that's uh, been working on the self. Maybe someone was lacking um, confidence. I do feel like someone received some sort of download, some sort of uh, transmission, some sort of divine intervention. Let's see. So what is the outcome? So we had the message and then we had strength. So I do feel like somebody's mustering up the strength to deliver a message. So let's see what we got. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. Maybe someone's getting some sort of uh, message via a dream I'm getting as well. And so we have on the bottom of the deck, eternal love. Love is love is love. That's my Monica. That's what I say. So that's beautiful. And then it says, and it, and it transcends physical death. This card literally came out in the Divine Feminine's reading. This is the same card that showed up in the Divine Feminine's reading. So there's no doubt about it that you're coming into union with your Divine Counterpart. And remember I was saying the Jack-O-Lantern card represents protection. And here it is. So this is a protected union. Because your outcome is protection. So I do feel like whoever this person is that 
feels protective of this union or felt that you was very guarded or maybe you feel this about them i feel like this union is spiritually protected that this is a spiritual um bond and soul tie that you have with another person maybe someone's name is jack because i was picking up on jacqueline so maybe there's a jack and with the message, I feel like spirit could also be saying, um, you know, the importance, like it's very important to protect yourself. Because remember, I was picking up with the zombie control card. There could have been someone that was doing like um, some sort of hoodoo or juju spells, you know, because a lot of people will go and collect like um, graveyard dirt when they're performing like spells to... Um, get rid of a partner and my left bottom of my foot just like tingled when I said that somebody could be doing like hot foot powder rituals or something to that degree because I just heard hot foot powder but protect yourselves I feel like you're also protected like you have angels and ancestors that are protecting you protecting this union I feel this is a very uh, spiritual connection especially with this eternal love here love is love is love and it transcends physical death I was picking up on a protect uh, like an ancestor that you all had um, that was protecting you that was kind of like um, nudging you in a particular direction or towards a particular person and underneath the eternal love card this represents like even a twin flame or someone that's a past love and it says bomb rock underneath that six, uh, sweetness and success and night song hidden talents so there's no doubt about it that you have a very sacred uh, connection with another person and I feel that the two of you are um, coming into union soon. This just shows me like coming into union. And we have Fire and Desire playing by Rick James. So this person is definitely um, desiring you. And we got the eight ma uh, manifestation and the creativity here. And this is the number 11, these two cards together. So we got this. 38 which reduces to 11 that's one half of the twin 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 flame um, number and with that three that represents the empress energy and what he says is I love you he opened up the song saying and I love you so someone has like a lot of um, passion for another person I feel you all are very like passionate about someone because with this creativity card it's like you're very drawn to someone or someone is very drawn to you and I feel like they could be working on manifesting you. This is a very beautiful connection here that I'm picking up. And this is like somebody's awakening to this truth, to this fact. You know, having this sort of grand epiphany. And this is something that makes someone feel like emotionally fulfilled. So someone speaks another person's love language. That 11 also is like dealing with, um, you know, that portal that just went past. So there could have been a lot of downloads, a lot of, you know, to transmissions, I feel. Just really tapped into that God frequency, that Christ consciousness. You know, maybe listening to your intuition, trusting your intuition, paying attention. Maybe you're tapping into your creative um, energy, artistic energy, because this spider is also a very busy energy as well. I feel like you are... Uh, definitely like mastering your crafts, you know, really honing some sort of skill. Maybe this is, this is just indicative of you working on yourselves. But you're very attractive and someone or someone is a very attractive person to you. They can't keep their eyes off of you. So we have um, 61 self-love. And this is zombie control. See that? So when you have uh, another energy that could be manipulating you or controlling you, um, this is definitely showing or this would be proof that, you know, you're not showing or displaying enough self-love to allow another person to control you or to be, um, you know, to be overbearing is like you're almost like, you know, kind of 
letting others walk all over you. You could be overcompensating, you know, not really showing that you know your worth, your value, that you love yourselves. So this is a lesson that you had to learn was to take control back, you know, to finally take your control back. Maybe whoever this person was, was able to control you because of the lack of self-love. Maybe you didn't love yourselves as much as you thought you did. And it was very revealing to you. Maybe you were being a ghost of yourself. You weren't being your authentic self because you were kind of like, um, it's like a lost soul. If you don't do your healing, if you don't work on yourselves, um, then others, it would be more, it would be easier for someone to control you if you don't have love of self. If you have insecurity issues or if you have trauma, childhood trauma that you're still carrying around or baggage. And so I feel like that was the lesson. That was what someone had to go through. They had to come out of the dark. They had to see the, see things clearly because remember we had blind spots. So there were things that were not, um, they were not aware of. There were certain uh, situations or circumstances that were hidden from them. And when they took their focus off of whatever that problem was and focus more on the self, they were able to, you know, because that's really self-discipline. That encompasses self-love, self-worth, self-value, self-respect, self-integrity, self-analysis, self-reflection, self-introspection, self-discovery ultimately. And that's why that wise seeing, wise action, because now that you've started to love yourselves, now that you've started to take care of yourselves, maybe this is someone starting to realize that they gotta, you know, they gotta show respect, they gotta take care of themselves. They start to wake up, you know, because why seeing wise action is there. And they start to wake up and they realize they need to go follow their dream. You know, that they was not prioritizing their needs, their wants, their desires, especially with this owl. It's like there was an epiphany, there was an aha. That 85 reduces to 13. That 13 reduces to 4. So this is like someone is watching a divine masculine. Almost like that divine masculine is teaching them. They're learning. Or maybe the divine masculine is learned from a divine feminine. But this is someone that is like a wish fulfillment. Someone that's a star in your eyes. Or someone feels you're a star in theirs. And with fire and desire. It's like this love, this passion. this 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 Even this attraction it's just growing and growing. It's intensifying. And they're going to take action because they've seen enough. They've learned enough. They realize something, as I mentioned, like that light bulb moment went off. They're illuminated and clear. And they're coming in confidently, assertively. But there's a dream. Someone's following their dream. Why is this owl here? Someone's following their wish come true. The one that got away. Why is Owl here for the person our beautiful Divine Masculines is attracting to them? So whoever this is that you're attracting, they're obviously very wise, you know. And we have 14 moderation. So this is someone who has made some changes within the self. 14 reduces to 5. That represents the Hierophant. So someone has learned a lot. They've made changes on themselves. They've grown. They've healed. They've matured. This is about maturation. This is about... Also, um, being very, um, being very t determined to master oneself, to heal oneself, to learn, you know, maybe sitting at the feet of an elder has been very, um, beneficial. That's also speaking, you know, to the number five because that 14 reduces to five. So it's like someone has learned a lot and now they will take action because it says why seeing, why is action. So they will take action. They're just trusting their intuition now. Their intuition is leading them to take action. What did I say about teaching and learning? Someone who's teaching another person and learning. That's usually the dynamic of the divine feminine and the divine masculine as well. Is that there is that element of, you know, one being... Um, Awakened and the other person being triggered, uh, you know, for their awakening, you know, but this 57 reduces to 12, which is three. So that represents the Empress as well. And the Empress is all about learning, growing. She's very beautiful, very powerful. She's a master manifester. She's a nurturer. She's a healer. She's domestic. She's maternal. 
If this is a masculine energy, all of the aforementioned, but he's more of the protector, the provider. He's paternal. And how they feel about you is they do feel, um, I do feel like they do feel heartbroken because I'm getting like the three. Maybe you've taught them, you know, a lesson about love. Maybe you, you know, they feel like you broke their heart. Maybe they want to reunite with you because I'm getting like the three of cups. So this is them wanting to perhaps reunite, reconnect. And we have um, Horace Brown. And this is called One for the Money. So with Brown, I feel like, you know, I automatically just heard, you know, grounding. So they want to ground this connection. They want to work together because I'm also getting the three of pentacles. It's like they want to lighten the mood even with mischief and play. I feel like they just kind of want to lighten the mood, get rid of the, all the tension, you know, and try to repair this connection. So why is trick-or-treat here? May I have a message of love and light. Why is trick-or-treat here for how this person, our divine masculines, feel about them? Thank you, spirit. We got 96 forgiveness. Someone is really desiring forgiveness. I want someone to show them compassion, but we got 87 here, synchronicity. So 87, this is someone that does feel that there is a very strong bond connection, someone from your past. Is that 87 reduces to 15, that's 6. So this is someone that does feel you're the yin to their yang, their twin flame, their soulmate. They feel this connection with that brown, brown that I was picking up on. They definitely feel like they can build with you, grow with you. This is someone that could be in like hermit mode even when you think of zombie uh it's coming up out of the ground it's raising from the ground the dirt so this is uh perhaps that person that's kind of like almost like in that um you know that deep reflective space but they feel like there's this synergy this chemistry because that six is like yin yang energy also six is giving me someone from your past that could have made some some poor decisions in the past and now there could be some regrets, but they're coming towards you very apologetic. And also with changed behavior, because I feel like with this 96, it's like they're, they're really desiring like forgiveness. So they're coming in humble. This is again that six and six is six is 12. That's three. So this is the person that hurt you. This is the person from your past that's, the, that's returning. And they want to build a partnership and alliance. They want to, you know, they want to re- um, I'm hearing they want to uh, plant new seeds, build a more solid foundation this time around. So why is this spider here uh, for what's hidden in the energy for uh, our divine masculines, yang energy? Why is spider community and web weaving here for what's hidden in the energy for my divine masculines? Thank you, spirit. At the bottom of the deck, we have one new beginnings. So this is definitely a brand new start. Every ending denotes a new beginning. And so we have um, 7, 5, that's 12, that's 3, 3 and 6, that's 9. So every ending, a completion, because 61 is 7, 14 is 5, so that's 12, that reduces to 3. The 3 and the 87, that 87 reduces to 6. So 6 and 3 is 9. That's what I have on the board so far. So there is definitely change. Highest number of change is 9. That's also showing someone in hermit mode. That could be that zombie card. Someone who's really been kind of like in that incubation status. Learning, growing, repairing, healing, um, purifying, um, cleansing. You know, there's a, there's a cleansing of the soul. There's, there's um, you know, awareness. Looking back in awareness. Uh, but then he's breaking from the earth. Uh, because now this time around he's going to have more control of the situation. Uh, he's no longer going to be that lost soul. Um, you know, that's kind of like um, being manipulated and controlled. Um, whether emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically. Uh, there's someone that's definitely coming out. Very, um, very determined. Um, very willful. Very balanced. Uh, very much in control this time around, taking the control back, taking their power back. So we have 41 self-discipline. This is clarifying spider community and web weaving. And then we also have this number eight manifestation. So there's absolutely um, 
with this self-discipline. I'm speaking of that being, you know, the all-encompassing word of, you know, self-love, self-worth is self-discipline. And so with this energy, this shows me that someone is has absolutely like pulled the reins back, you know, and assess themselves. Um, they've matured. They've changed their perspective. They're looking at life from a whole do, whole different scope. You know, it's like they're seeing things from a different perspective even. And so this is that person indeed uh, that has really um, pulled the scales back a little and, you know, made some changes within themselves. They've grown up. It's like they've there's maturity here. And they could have really been... Um, you know, um, they could have had someone, you know, like an elder or a master teacher or a pastor, a Reiki healer, uh, maybe even an elder in their family, maternal or paternal, really kind of sit them down and, and explain, uh, the dynamics of a healthy relationship, um, how you do have to put in work, how it isn't meant to be one sided. The train is going by yet again. So there is this element of, um, you know, someone at a distance, someone realizing the reason why there's distance, the reason why there's this this space. Um, and so I do feel strongly like someone is um, willing to come around this time around and, and put forth the effort to be more um, invested, to show more interest, to even show love, you know, to put forth the work, the effort, the time, the energy, the attention, um, and intention in this connection. And I feel like it's it's going to manifest. It's going to produce fruit with this protection. It's because this is a protected union. And on the bottom of the deck, this is leading to some sort of beautiful new beginning with this whoever this person is. Uh, so what we have next is we have intuition. This is the psychic tarot deck. So someone's following their intuition this time around. Um, this is that person that could have been under the control uh, of another person. Now they're trusting their own internal self audit, you know, their own internal compass. Uh, because someone was being controlled or being manipulated by another being, another uh, entity, another person, maybe they had some addictions, afflictions, maybe they was in a karmic relationship, toxic relationship. This time around, they're listening to their intuition. On the bottom of the deck, I mean on the split, we have intuition and wisdom. So wise don't. Remember I said someone grew wiser, someone grew more, um, you know, it's like they have this, this uh, deeper, more profound understanding. Uh, this also represents, you know, tapping into that God frequency. But this number five wise dome and number two intuition is it reduces to seven, which is the chariot. So there's a sense of balance and control and equilibrium within the self. With whatever decisions you choose to make, you're going to make them confidently and move on. There's not going to be any fears. There's not going to be any of this, this, you know, mental conflict or this ruminating and pining or this constant, um, um, you know, anxiousness or anxiety. It's like you've learned a lesson and this door, this chapter has been closed. You could see the chapter's closed and there is, you know, this this uh, entering into a whole new paradigm, a whole new dimension. So that's why somebody is breaking from the earth because it's almost like they were buried alive. Uh, somebody could have did some sort of love spells and buried someone's clothing, um, like usually... Um, you, they'll bury like a masculine's clothing, like their underwear or their socks. Um, they'll bury it with their belongings, where whether it's hair follicles, nails. They do all kind of ish. So you may have had a witch or someone that was doing something like that. And I feel like self-love, the more you started to love yourselves and not um, operate and function in that false sense of self, um, in the ego, it's like that's what led to the major breakthrough. Um, that's what led to you taking your power back because it says control. So it's like you had to learn to control the beast. Um, you couldn't feed the beast anymore. You know, um, if this isn't you, this is another person. But I feel like the control was severed. That whatever control someone did, it could have been a freezer spell, but I'm definitely picking up like dirt. So somebody buried someone's belonging someone's things um in order to control a situation um they may have it buried in a bottle in uh, it behind their home you know so just be mindful um but with this wise dome here 
I do feel like somebody grew uh, very, very um, wise. Somebody really learned some, some valuable lessons dealing with this type of person. Um, I'm hearing they saw red flags or they started to pay attention to red flags. Uh, there was a lot of things that went over their heads, you know, like KRS-One said. Um, you know, so, so some some red flags went over someone's head, and I feel like I feel like that that was um, almost like that was the uh, the great awakening, you know. So let's cut this deck. So what we have playing right now is Red Man can't wait, and uh, we just had a sister that was on um, tonight's the night album, um, Hurricane G, just transi transitioned into the spirit realm, so. Rising power to that queen. But we have Red Man here. Some of you all could be um, from Jersey. I'm here in New Jerusalem. I'm here in Brick City. So some of you all could be definitely um, Jersey natives. And we also, um, there was also a brother uh, that passed on from um, the Artifacts. Um, uh, the group Artifacts from Jersey. Uh, and they they did that song, Wrong Side of the Tracks. That song is dope. It's played several times um, in my readings. But I digress. So rising power to the, to that beautiful queen and that, that beautiful king. Uh, so we have triumphant success. See that? So this is what you are coming into. This is the clarity, the truth. This is the illumination. This is the epiphany, the aha. This is also breaking free from whatever uh, confusion, whatever blind spots. The fog, you know, being in two minds even. This, you're having some sort of triumphant success. Because that sword represents um, air energy. So the air is about logic. You're seeing something clearly. But you're also able to cut yourselves free from something that is um, holding you back. So whether this is be a belief system, a perspective, an ideology, or a, maybe even that person, a person that was uh, manipulating you energetically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, um, or maybe this is just uh, someone that, like I said, that was doing some sort of, um, you know, ritual work, but your self-love as well as your ability to see things, uh, that self-love led to you being able to see something very clearly and not just see it, but now you could cut yourselves free. So it's like you're cutting the cord, the yoke, you're cutting some sort of hex, um, breaking some sort of hex. So this is powerful. Um, bottom of the deck, we got love begin. See that? And now you are open and more receptive to love because you're no longer under this illusion. You're no longer under this delusion, whether this is your energy or another person. It's like now there's clarity. And when you can see things clearly, now you can make, um, you know, some sort of wise decision, you know. Um, and so we are about to clarify the person and how they feel about you. And it says 14 moderation and it says um the owl, wise seeing, wise action. So this person is definitely coming in very intentionally uh, because they do feel this love. When love begins, they feel you're the one. They feel that you both uh, can give to one another equally. They feel that there's emotional fulfillment and happiness. Um, they feel that this relationship continue uh, can continue to grow and flourish um, and develop. Uh, but I feel like they've learned some lessons uh, about love, even about themselves in love ships. Maybe they had a tendency to be very clingy or very codependent. And they had to make some uh, changes within themselves in order to have a healthy love dynamic. They learned that no woman, no man um, is an island. Uh, but these changes uh, also came uh, from... You know, taking that time to to sit down amongst the elders, amongst those who have been here uh, for a long time and can impart uh, that wise dome. You know, so this is a beautiful energy. And we have Karis One and the name of this song is called Love's Gonna Get You. See that? So with love begins and love is going to get you. This is what somebody's realizing. Somebody could have been playing hard to get. And that was something, that was a, a change they had to make because this is the number 14 along with our wise seeing wise action. So someone realized like playing hard to get, not putting in the effort, not showing someone how you truly feel 
is only going to harm you. You know, some no one's going to just sit around and take abuse or take the bare minimums forever. It's like it gets old. You know, I'm going to call you but so many times before you not respond or I'm going to put forth the effort enough, you know, but so many times before I just walk away. If I don't see that you are making me or making a connection the priority that I am making it. So it's like almost somebody like somebody had some sort of epiphany about something. Um, love's going to get you. So this is that energy I was picking up in the beginning of the reading where somebody definitely just was not um, putting in as much time as they could have. They weren't committed. They weren't really committed. They weren't looking for a commitment. So they thought. And now it's like now they're seeing something for the first time or they're realizing something. Or maybe even they're just acknowledging those feelings they've been pushing down and, and um, repressing for so long. Uh, but this love is going to get you. We got this love begin. So someone's realizing they've fallen. They've either fallen in love or they are in love. And instead of falling in love, I like to say rise in love. Uh, because to me, that's more of a higher vibration. Um, it's very interesting. I did the Divine Feminine reading. And then as soon as I pushed that reading out in my feed, uh, there was someone else who put out uh, some sort of video talking about rising in love and and I don't know if that was a coinky dink I don't believe in coinky dinks I just think you know people listen and then they go and make videos based off of somebody else's content but I still look at it as a, a compliment because you know <laughs> you could uh, imitate imitation is the greatest uh, form of flattery so Appreciate you, but the very beautiful energy. See this memories of love. So I, I was saying somebody from your past, and that's the number six. So this is that past person, uh, somebody from your past, and this is not a toxic ex. This is not someone that was swinging and hoeing and cheating and creeping and crawling and being grimy and slimy, trying to play, trying to be a play, a player. Um, no, this is someone uh, that I don't feel enough effort was put into the connection. Um, as there should have been. Um, but I do feel strong chemistry. I do feel that this person holds you near and dear to their heart. Uh, I feel you may hold them near and dear to your heart. Uh, but whatever this is, this is like nostalgia. Uh, this is again with this six and this five. That is the vibration of 11. That's the half of the 1111 twin flame energy. So this is the yin to your yang ma masculines. And this is someone that holds you near and dear to their heart. They hold this connection to their near and dear to their heart. Maybe you are the one um, that needed to catch up to love because you could have been closed off. So why is this wise seeing wise action and moderation here for my divine masculines? Bottom of the deck, we got rest and rejuvenation. So taking that time, that hermit mode energy, building, growing, you know, the self first, and then you can build and grow and establish a solid foundation, a nucleus um, with that divine feminine. This is the number four. So this could be your energy, you know, just kind of working on you. You know, the number fours are uh, the emperors, you know. There's also the two cards that flew out. We have the number eight, accelerated motion. So this is to me like a wish fulfillment, a star. So this could be a wish fulfillment for you, someone or something that you have manifested. Because remember, we have jack-o'-lantern protection and manifestation, which is the outcome. So there could definitely be some prayers, petitions, you know, sending up those daily affirmations, speaking those daily affirmations, wishing upon a star. Whoever this is, remember, um, this is someone that definitely... Uh, has learned something and there could be some sort of answered prayer or a wish fulfillment coming in how they feel about you is recognition and reward they're realizing the prize that is you they're realizing you know how beautiful you are how um, you know how much of a, a gift you are you know it's like you're the one you're the one that got away I feel someone's rushing in there could be some news coming in because that eight and that five is 13. So this is that person that there was um, the death of a connection, the demise of a relationship because of the lack of effort. And we have um, Fati. 
And this is called movement. I can't make this up. So someone's definitely going to make that move. They're going to take action. They was laid back. Maybe this is somebody that's really been, you know, kind of um, almost too cool for school. You know, kind of want somebody to chase them. Or maybe this was the attitude you could have had. But whatever it is, I see like movement, quick movement with this moderation and this number 14. This is like someone's definitely taking action. You know, this is someone that's really wanting to build, grow, cultivate, nurture, support, compromise. They're willing to put in the work now. There's no doubt about it. They're willing to put in the work. And how they feel about you is you're you're the prize regardless of what may have transcended. This is what they truly feel about you. You know, recognition and reward. That's like they want to reunite. They want to come back. Because they do feel you're a wish fulfillment. It's like you both feel the same way about one another. But there was, you know, that there was absolutely something that came in between it. And I feel like it was just someone's like faulty belief system or someone's, you know, um, behavior, attitude, you know, ego, you know, inflated ego. So what we have right here, rest and rejuvenation on the bottom of the deck. We're about to pull a card for what's hidden. And we have spider, community, and web weaving. And then we have the 41 self-discipline. So let's see. Why is um, spider and self-discipline here for what's hidden in the energy for my divine masculines? See this? This is y'all. So you guys are the ones working on the self. Because this is the authority figure. This is the emperor. So the emperor gets busy, makes things happen. I feel like you've been working on yourself because the 41 and the number four, that's nine. Highest number of change. And it says moderation, I mean self-discipline. So you've been working on yourselves. You've been working on your approach. You know, maybe you was a little too cold, too standoffish for this person. The person that I was defi uh, describing in the beginning, that masculine energy or even that feminine energy, whoever it was I was picking up on, I was picking up the energy of somebody who was just like not feeling the need or feeling compelled to put forth the effort. It was almost like they looked at themselves as the prize. So it was like, why do I got to do anything? You're supposed to just come in and just bask in my glory. And this disposition is a very like, Per, you know, guarded, per, you know, dis, uh, um, disposition, you know, this is someone who's not really open, you know, when you got your arms crossed, that's very closed off, very guarded, you know, and I feel like this is why self-discipline in spider is here, because now this person's crown chakra, if you look, there's like a halo, so it's like, yes, they've learned, they've been learning something, because the 41 and the 4, that reduces to 9, and nine is the ha uh, the hermit in traditional tarot. So this is that person that's been kind of like, you know, in that incubation state, really working on the self. You know, as I've mentioned earlier, self-discipline is encompassing of self-love, self-worth, self-value, self-awareness. You know, this is this is what this person has to do. You got to be socially aware as well. And so when you're coming off in the world very guarded or closed off and not as affectionate or attentive, this doesn't look like some a masculine that has emotional intelligence. He looks like he got all the book smarts in the world, maybe even street smarts, but he have no he has no emotional intelligence. And emotional intelligence is very important if you want to be in a love ship. That's why Raheem Devine was saying, look, love don't come easy. So you you, you gotta put in the work. So you can't be closed off and, and still be wanting to put, you know, wanting a relationship. That's why community and web weaving, because you have to be willing to reciprocate. You got to be willing, willing to support your partner, to be in that, you know, connection, putting forth the work, the time, the effort, the energy, intention. And that's why some of you all could be bored because that stubbornness, it gets old, discontent and boredom. But the outcome here is protection and manifestation. So even though you've been bored, this is the, the number four. This is divine masculines. It's like you're, this is still you're protected. I feel this connection that I'm picking up on, whoever this person is, they're also protected. So this is a protected union. And I feel like someone that you've manifested a wish fulfillment, a blessing, a miracle, 
an answered prayer, it's coming in because not only are you protected, they are protected. You know, and, and, and not only are you protected individually, I feel you both are protected, you know, even in terms of this relationship. So there's a lot of discontent and boredom, sadness, learn, yearning, you know, regret even, you know, reflecting on the past. So why is protection and manifestation here for the Divine Masculines? And look at that hope, holding on to hope. And I was picking up on somebody like finally busting a dope move, taking a leap of faith. So what came out is sacrifice, willing to sacrifice, you know, for what you want, willing to put forth the effort, the energy, the time. Sacrifice also speaks to, um, you know, patience. Good things take time to create. That number 12 reduces to three. So this felt this divine feminine feels like she sacrificed a lot, but she's still managing, you know, to manifest this connection or, you know, still working, you know, because remember what I said, the divine feminine and divine masculine, you know, they are a suit. So it's like one could be open, you know, uh, or active to a relationship and the other can be triggered by that divine, you know, feminine or masculine that is awake, awakened to the truth. And we have blue magic. Teach me. So remember what teaching and learning was playing. And with blue magic, someone is learning how to communicate emotionally, um, you know, speaking someone's love language. When you're teaching someone how to love, it's like you are, you know, if you, especially if you're not in communication, then that means that someone has to be watching you. So this person is watching or someone, you could be watching another person, you know, following someone's transformation, someone's growth. And I want to get the car the cards. So we got seven and one, that's eight. So that's that's action. Someone's taking action for the overall energy. And they're gonna they're going to um, take action and express something that they may have been hiding. I definitely feel like someone has transformed, someone has grown internally. As well as like spiritually, they've healed on a soul level. They see the growth in, in you as well. That you're changing, that you're working on you. They definitely feel you're guarded. Like you're, you're, you're like, you are not an easy person to, um, to understand or understand. Because you're very guarded. The way they see you is very guarded. Because how they feel about you is 87. Remember that 6. And then they have recognition and reward 3. So 3 is the highest number of change. I'm getting the 9 of wands. You know. Just like blocking out. You know. Very protective of your energy. Or protective of your heart. You know. Because maybe this is what they see. Is they, they're looking at the situation like. You won't let anyone in. And then what's hidden in the energy is we have 41, 5, and 4 again. And that's 9 again. So, and this is the authority figure. So it's like you're a go-getter. They see you as a boss. They definitely see you as someone very, you know, successful, determined, uh, powerful. Um, but you're guarded, you know. You're not a lovable person. Um, because you're so guarded, you're so closed off, you don't show emotion. And that's not fun to be with. Like, nobody wants to be with, uh, you know, just just a, a hard ass, you know, somebody all stoic. You know, so if that's your demeanor, um, you might want to lighten a little, lighten up a little. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to relationships, love ships. Um, it doesn't call for that, you know. You want to be protective of the overall union, your family, the household. You know, you want to be protective of that. But you don't want to be this in your love ship. You know, women need a little bit of softness from their masculine or not even softness, but attentiveness. So that means you got to soften up a little bit. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that. Love don't come easy, you know. And if the old ways aren't working for you. Then that means change is necessary. Change is required. All right. So 
let's um yeah and with this sacrifice the eight and then the three so that's eleven so this is in fact that divine feminine that's you know the outcome that's coming in and I feel like you know you're willing to sacrifice I feel like you've you've seen a lot learned a lot enough to know that you're in good hands maybe you didn't realize that before because remember we have hope here so I feel like you all realize you're in good hands with this person there's nothing for you to fear but fear itself. It's like a false expectation appearing real. But I do feel with that eight, it's like you realize that this, this is like a wish fulfillment. This is like infinite possibilities. You know, this is a prayer that you've been asking for. And we got Rick James again. And this is called, Is This Love? Not, is, um, I said Rick James. This is White Snake, pardon me. And it says, Is This Love? So you guys are going to realize this is love. You, you may be asking, is this love? Which, because remember, your, your heart is a rock. You're like hard. And with white snake, you know, snakes represent change as well. Not just sneaky, grimy, you know, venomous people that could be around you. I mean, it means that too. But snakes also represent change. If you think of the snake, the snake is almost like kundalini rising. You know, so that's ascension. So it's almost like spirit is saying that your perspective has evolved because you're now questioning, could this be love? Could this person be my true love? This person all along has been the one. And I didn't see it. I didn't realize it. I didn't recognize it. I wasn't open to it. And it's like you now you're you're looking at the situation with a different um, with a different lens because you've taken that time. You know, I feel like this was a matter of divine timing. You know, patience is a form of action. And so what we have here, look on the bottom of the deck, I'm using the tarot cards. And once we use these, we're going to wrap it up. So the star is here on the bottom of the deck. And remember, I was saying somebody is either your wish fulfillment or someone feels that you are a wish fulfillment because what we have here the overall energy if you look you got the number 61 and the number one that reduces to seven that's an eight so it's like praying wishing hoping you know that's what the star does but it also heals healing is a very strong process you know strong uh, element to the process as well reflecting going deeply within that's the 17 you know that reduces to eight so that to me is like building up the strength and the courage to work on the self to acknowledge to recognize perhaps the wrong that someone has been doing or seeing the wrong that's being done but regardless there's like this element of healing this element of co-creating with source this element of reinventing oneself, finding balance in oneself, confidence, knowing one's worth and value. This also is about purification, clean, clearing, and cleansing, karma. So let's see, let's tap in. I see the Eight of Swords, I mean the, um, the Star and the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is here. So this is working on the self. This is just, again, veggie backing off of everything that I've just said. That Eight of Pentacles is a very, you know, determined energy. You know, honing a skill, a gift, a talent. Working on the self. Mastering that craft. Look what just flew out. The Strength card. Building and mustering up the strength. The courage. The wise dome. That's that energy of really being uh, very strong, taking control of one's subconscious. And so the train is going by yet again. So this is why, pardon me. So this is why there was distance. There was distance so that someone could do the work, getting away from the distractions. Someone created distance. That's why there's this guardedness here with how this person feels and what's hidden is there's there's just like a guard up and there goes the ace of cups whenever i go to you know clarify this energy that you're attracting the ace of cups keeps showing up so this is no doubt about it this person loves you 
this person has changed this person has healed this is the same person that has wise seeing wise action so they've seen a lot they've experienced a lot they've gone through a lot so that means they're going to come in very um from a a, a space of uh, a healer you know every great healer has to first heal themselves this is a very beautiful energy because it's like they're giving you their cup of love it's like they're looking to nurture this relationship heal this relationship there's angel wings so i feel like the angels are even like conspiring behind the scene to bring this love ship into fruition and we have lauren hill singing um when it hurts so bad and she says when it hurts so bad why does it feel so good and so maybe there was some sort of something that hurt really bad maybe the disconnect between you and this person hurt really bad but it's like they're still hopeful because if you look this feminine you know you can see all the mountains in the backdrop which really typically um, is symbolic of like difficulties overcoming those difficulties but she's still looking up at this this star the shooting star so the shooting star is really symbolic of something coming in very quickly unexpectedly and I'm about to pull the energy to clarify that card along with that wise seeing wise action and the 14 self um, la, uh, moderation pardon me and the ace of cups is here so this shows that the healing they've had to do they've healed themselves they've purified they've rested rejuvenated they've sent up prayers petitions they've definitely been speaking affirmations mantras and it's almost like spirit is answering their car their call because it says when it hurts so bad why does it feel so good so it's almost like they're questioning well if this isn't my person then why do i feel this way you know so it's almost like they are, like I said, like maybe somebody's holding on to you or you could be holding on to them. Maybe this is your sentiment. If it hurts so bad, why does it feel so good? You know, if this isn't my queen, if this isn't my, my goddess, my divine feminine, the yin to my yang, then why am I constantly desiring them? So it's almost like, yeah. So let's tap in. So why is why scene, why is action here? Oh, sh it came right back out. It flew right back out. Ace of Cups. So this is a wish fulfillment. This is somebody that loves you. And spirit is really conspiring behind the scenes. Because I always see like this is a time clock. Like a, a, a you know, like a, um, a watch rather. So I feel like it is a matter of divine timing. Someone had to grow. Someone had to mature. This is also like transformation. Because that 14 and 8 reduces to 13. Which reduces to uh, 4. So someone had to learn to love themselves. Someone had to learn love is an inside job. Maybe a connection that they were in triggered them to do this work. They had to learn to um, heal themselves from past pains, wounds, traumas. They had to grow wiser. But 13 is really about transformation. It's about Re reincarnation even renewal rebirth so it's like you know it's like the death of the old but the birth of something new you know and 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 death dying doesn't feel good that's why it hurts so bad but it feels so good to to be on the other side of that to be transformed to be you know um to emerge someone new someone different Someone stronger and able to see clearly. Someone wiser. And we got the Wheel of Fortune here. So this is destiny. This is a destiny type of love. This is also someone that is, um, you know, having some sort of turning point. They could be very successful. Maybe this is how they feel about you, that you're very successful. You got the Midas touch. You've mastered yourself, mastered your craft. You're in balance. Mind, body, and soul. Maybe this is something they feel. But I feel there's a turning point. I feel like something that could have been blocked or delayed. There's a turning point here. With this wheel, things are turning in your favor, perhaps. 
they feel like things are always working out for you or maybe this person just feels this distance or maybe this is someone that you know feels this is a destiny type of love you know it's all a matter of destiny so let's see why is um trick or treat synchronicity recognition and reward here for how this person our beautiful divine masculines is attracting to them and have a message of love and light they feel you're very successful you know maybe you're in the spotlight maybe you get a lot of attention you can be very attractive and we have seven of coins on the bottom of the deck we got four oh man there's a lot of cards here oh boy a couple of them fell on the floor let me get these so let me ask spirit if i should take all of these cards because i'm feeling a certain type of way should i take these all right they're telling me to put them back but what did show up is the empress the six of staffs temperance the five of swords and the six of coins so i i, I really feel like i'm just repeating what i've already said but that five of swords that was literally like the conflict there was some sort of like you know one way you know type of connection someone felt like they you know was really like calling the shots here that they deserve more than they were willing to give. This is almost like a pompous attitude. This is almost someone very careless, very calculating, selfish, breadcrumbing another person with the six of coins, giving bits and pieces of themselves, expecting someone to beg for their time, for their attention. This is the, the, the breadcrumber. That's what I was picking up. And then later on, someone realizing, damn, that's an empress. You know, this connection is actually a suit. This is the yin to my yang. This is the yang to my yin. Someone finally realizing someone is their divine counterpart. Also wanting a victory, wanting to move forward, perhaps propose, perhaps commit. It was all a matter of divine timing and divine essence. That's what that 14 is, because good things take time to create. It was also a lot of work on the self on behalf of this person. So let me clarify these cards, give my cards a bang, bang, boogie. We have Brett, uh, Bette Midler, and this is called Friends. So this is someone you know. I feel like this is someone you were friends with. We got Brett, Bette Midler, Friends. So this is someone that you... You are absolutely familiar with and we knew that because we saw the six. So this person, how they feel about you is they want to be friends. They want to uh, perhaps, you know, try to reconcile, rec you know, make an amends. Because I do feel like they miss you. I do feel like there's a longing for you. The Ace of Pentacles is here. They want something tangible, something real. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light. Why is Trick or Treat 87? Um synchronicity and recognition and reward here for how this person my divine masculines feel about them how this person feels about my divine masculines thank you spirit and we got the emperor so they see you as a boss they see you as a go-getter they see you as powerful that's why they have we have the recognition and reward but they also feel you match their fly their vibration as well you know because they see themselves as a divine feminine they see themselves as very strong and powerful. You know, there also could be some element of like, you both could be entrepreneurs, have businesses. You may have multiple streams of income. What's hidden in the energy is I feel like there's definitely someone changing some sort of faulty belief system where they were, you know, taking more than they were giving, you know, being in this, this very uh, competitive mindset. You know, because this is why this uh, this five is there. This 41 reduces to the five, just like that five of swords. So this was like self-imposed mental anguish, confusion, and even just stubbornness. Pure, unadulterated stubbornness, ego, just inflated. Why is this spider 41 self-discipline and authority here? See that? The knight of swords. This is like, you know, very hostile energy. This is also like, you can see this, this lion is um a attacking this knight 
So it's a very aggressive energy. So that's how you were perceived, very aggressive. And this is very competitive, you know, this five, very competitive. So there was a lot of people, there's a lot of people that were um, fighting for this person's attention and time and energy. Give me one moment. All right, my bad, y'all. So, yeah, there was definitely competition. There was definitely a bunch of people um, that was biting for this person's attention. And that could be the reason why they was distracted and not really making the effort. Because, you know, when you feel like you the man and you got all of these people, or even if you feel like you the, the woman and you got all these people fighting for your attention, it can cause some confusion. You know, and so that's the reason why with protection, I felt like this connection, this union was protected. We saw the wheel of fortune. So I feel like there's a destiny type of love here. So let's see why is protection, manifestation and sacrifice here for the outcome for my divine masculines. And then we're going to wrap it up. Beautiful. And so we have the tower on the bottom of the deck. So that's the epiphany, the aha. That's something coming, you know, uh, to light. You know, it was a painful ending. But we have page of cups and then the seven of cups. So the page and the seven was really giving me like the eight of cups, you know, because he's holding up a cup, but there's a fish inside of it. So it's like somebody is coming back apologizing. Somebody's coming back remorseful for the way that they've behaved because the eight of cups is really, you know, someone walking away from a connection that they don't feel like there's recipro reciprocity. They're giving more than they're receiving. And that person that's not giving is now coming to the realization that they could have done more, you know. And they wasn't giving enough because they was confused. They had all these different options. They didn't know who to choose, what to choose, or why to choose it. But now there's this apology. You know, there's this apology because they've reflected, they've done their work, and they see exactly what they want. This could be your energy that, or the energy of the person you're attracting. And we have love is the new. Um, this is Anthony Hamilton. Love is the new. Um, it says love is the new black. So this is a beautiful energy. Um, of love. It's also black is a very protective color. So I do feel this is a protected union. And I do feel you all have a, a, a very sacred connection with someone. And you're coming back into uh, union with this person very soon. Some of you all could be dealing with someone named Anthony Hamilton uh, if you're in same-sex relationships. That could be a first, middle, or last name if it, if it is in a same-sex scenario. But this is your reading, Beautiful Souls. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you found that the messages resonated, if you found that my energy resonated, if you found that the just just my vibration vibes with yours, hit that like button. Definitely hit the subscribe button. Become a member of the Soul Family, and also hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. Until next time, my divine masculines, my yang. I'm sending infinite love and light. Have a beautiful rest of your Sunday. Until next time, peace. Mwah.